Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to use iframe in HTML document. First of all, we are going to use a notepad and I save the file as iframe.html. The result of this example will be shown in Google Chrome. In the notepad, you need to include this syntax. Okay, let's get started. So, what is iframe? iframe is stand for inline frame. It is used to embed another document within the current HTML document. The syntax for adding an iframe is For this example, I want to show you how to include another web in your site. So, the attribute for this example is src which is also known as source. Then, you can put any URL that you want. For me, I'm gonna use the URL from my favorite website. Okay, then you can save the notepad and refresh the browser. As you can see, there is a website in your web that you have created just now. Next, we are going to set height and, the, and width of the iframe. Both attributes are used to specify both height and width of the iframe. The attribute value are specified in pixel by default. They also can be in percent. For example, both width and height are changed to 40%. Save the notepad and refresh the browser. This is the changes that happen when we change it to 40%. The attribute value in pixel by default is 640 for the width and 4 at 0 for the height. You can save the notepad and refresh your browser. As you can see, the size of your web looks much bigger than before. Next, we are going to do the iframe frame border. The attributes specify whether or not to display a border around the iframe. If you look at the browser, there are a border around your web. When you put this syntax uh, and the attribute are set to zero, <coughs> you, can, you can save the notepad and refresh your browser. As you can see, the border that you see earlier was gone. For your information, the attribute must be zero. Otherwise, the frame border are shown by default. Lastly, we are going to show how to use iframe as a target for a link. The target attribute of a link must be referred to the same attribute of the iframe. Okay. We are just going to add an attribute to the iframe, which is name. Name is used to naming an iframe. We are going to name it as iframe underscore b. Then, we are going to include a, a hyperlink to be the target of the iframe. I choose to use the address. This is a tutorial address where you can find a tutorial related to HTML. Then, we include the attribute target and the name of the target must be the same as the iframe name. Save the notepad and refresh the browser. We can give any name to this link. For me, I use the original one. Save the notepad and refresh your browser. Okay, when you click the link, it will open the uh, website that we input before in the notepad. Okay, okay, guys, um, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.